Hi everyone and welcome to Biology 155. Let us take a minute to look at our SPVC mission statement. SPVC or San Bernardino Valley College maintains a culture of continuous improvement and a commitment to provide high quality education, innovative instruction, and services to a diverse community of leaders. So knowing what is our campus statements, let us take a few minutes and review some of the essentials of the course. So I want to take this opportunity to welcome you to my course, and I hope we can have a great semester together. Please continue to watch this video as we prepare to start our semester. Let me start by introducing myself. My name is Dr. Soha Sobhanya. I have been working at SBVC for the past eight years, teaching anatomy and physiology to allied health students. So what is my goal as an instructor? My goal as an instructor in this digital age is to create a welcoming and effective learning environment for you to succeed. However, regardless of my instructions, you as a student is also required to place a great effort in this course, especially when it comes to effective communication. Unlike the face-to-face -face course, you don't get a chance to interact directly with your peers or me. But don't worry, we still have great communication tool accessible to us in our online course. I want to start by sharing how you can log into your online platform known as Canvas so you can log into your course and access all your course material. You need to first log into your valleycollege.edu website and from that choose the Canvas option from the drop down menu. At this point, you may use your credentials from the web advisor to securely log into your Canvas and find all the courses you are registered for. What resources are available to you when taking an online course through Canvas? I want to start by stating that your course does not have any synchronous lecture or lab meetings. This means that we do not meet on a specific time to go over lecture or lab content. All material are available to you or asynchronously through Canvas whenever you choose to view them. We will have synchronous office hours, and even though the participation is not mandatory, it is strongly recommended. You may find this information about your office hours and the links to Zoom meetings in your calendar option. You may also review and receive updates about your course using the announcement option, the syllabus option, or the calendar option. I would usually send a weekly announcement to keep you updated in terms of upcoming assignments and activities. Please take a few minutes to navigate to your course page and make sure that you are comfortable using the options mentioned above. If you have any difficulty accessing your Canvas course, you may contact the help desk at the number mentioned above. So what communication tools are available to you as a student? I have mentioned some of them in our previous slide. They include both synchronous tools, such as live chats, set for specific hours, or office hours through Zoom. We have communication asynchronously using Canvas announcement, discussion boards, email, and in occasion, testing and texting among group members. So let us work together and utilize our resources for a regular and effective communication during this semester. When communicating online, please abide by net etiquette guidelines. 
These guidelines apply to all communication amongst peers as well as your instructor. Remember that diversity makes our, our society great. So value others' contributions, even if it doesn't align with your personal belief or views. Always remember communication through words is very different from communicating through speech. There are going to be misunderstanding between you and your peers. So please be patient, tolerant, courteous, and quick to forgive. What are some of the communication policies when interacting with your peers online? One, remember that regular and effective communication is essential. It will help you to stay up to date, reflect on your work, and improve on your prior work. What if you feel overwhelmed and unenthusiastic toward the task assigned to you? Well, first, don't stress. Take things one step at a time and don't hesitate to ask for help. Your peers and I are here to help. You will be doing group activities as part of this course. So the question is, what if these guidelines were not followed by your group members or peers? First, try to resolve it by communicating with your group members. If the issue persists, then please contact your instructor. Your success in this course depends on regular and effective communication with your instructor. These communications are both synchronous, such as office hours and live chat, or asynchronous, such as discussion boards or email. So how would your instructor communicate with you? One is through announcement posted on Canvas. These announcements are typically weekly and include updates for the course. Two, comments and feedbacks to help you improve, which are also available for all graded assignments and are accessible through Canvas. Three, if you need or may need any further discussion on your grade, the comments or corrections with your instruction during office hours, you may meet with your instructor during office hours to help you address these concerns or questions. Please remember that regardless of what type of communication you use, always follow the net etiquette guidelines in any form of con online communication. Before submitting any communication, make sure to check your writing for grammar or punctuation errors. Be respectful and avoid a slang terminology used in informal communication. Please follow the instructor provided guidelines and directions carefully. And please note the response time for asynchronous communication as it is listed in your syllabus. Now, as a student, you have the right to any additional accommodations for documented special needs via the Disabled Student Program and Service Department. As students who need services related to disability or who desire further information may read more about it at DSPS office, which is the link I have provided for you. You may contact the department or email them at dsps at valleycollege.edu. Lastly, our campus provide tutoring for all biology courses, including anatomy and physiology. Their office is located at Physical Science, room 121. You may also contact them by clicking on the link for academic Success Center, emailing them at sbvctutoring at gmail.com or call them at the number provided to learn more. Please do note that they are accessible Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 6.30 p.m. 
If you still have any questions, please do not hesitate to email me. I want to thank you and wish you the best of luck in this course.